Hi everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to explain about test automation with uh, test IM. So test IM is a price and test company tool. This can automate uh, web application. Um, it is both scriptless um, and we can do scripting also in this tool. Uh, I'm going to show an execution with a Salesforce application. Um, and then um, I will um, show about the Tricentis Academy where you can go and learn the Tricentis set of tools. And then I'm going to share you the link of uh, Test IM Specialist, um, the learning course, and then how can you get the certification. And also I'm going to show you in the test creation on Mercury tools, which is a very simple uh, web application for easier understanding. So, and then my name is Valalar Supandian. So I have 16 years of experience in uh, test automation on various uh, uh, tools. Uh, uh, you can just connect me if you require um, any clarifications on this video. So for now, I'm going to go to test IM. This is like test IM dot IO. Uh, you get the complete product details on this. And for this uh, demonstration or for your uh, learning, you can get a free trial version also. Uh, already I have registered a trial version and I'm logging inside my account. So I've already created my account uh, in the test IM. So once I log in inside my account, um, you'll be able to see the uh, insights uh, panel. So before that, here you can just go to your profile and then here you can navigate to all the important uh, links, uh, projects, team, plan, and there are a number of uh, features across it. And um, what you see here on the left is about the insights uh, that dashboard and then the reports uh, this is the actual editor where we will create the test and uh, this is the test list in which i have a number of uh, test library which i have created apart from that you can maintain the suits uh, the plan uh, the labels and also in the automation if you have created some steps and then you want to create a reusable kind of steps, you can create the shared steps so that you could reuse that uh, in all your steps. Then we have about the runs, uh, that's on the execution, the test run, and then you can schedule, and then you can do a configuration also here. Right, then we can do auto grouping. Then this is the settings. Uh, for the overall uh, test IM for the project settings and other settings. Test IM can be executed on the CLI also. Uh, and you have API, uh, the labs, and uh, you have integrations. You have multiple integrations with the bug tracking, test management uh, tools, and then you can get reporting. Um, and also you can get an email service of what is the report execution kind of stuff. Here you can manage your project set of users. So I'm currently going to go to my test list and I'm going to execute um, a Salesforce uh, application automation with a test IM. So I've created all the steps. So I'll execute it and on the go, I'll explain what's happening on the execution. So I just go and click this run test over here. So this is uh, logging into my Salesforce application. So I've got a trial on the Salesforce and I have recorded uh, and I've created an account and it is logged inside your uh, Salesforce account and it's creating a new opportunity over here. I'm just trying to enter uh, the basic mandatory details for explanation purpose and I've created some pre-requested uh, for the options 
uh, say like the account name, the opportunity uh, name and kind of stuff. And this is getting saved over here. And here you can just click on the links, the menu and all these options. You are able to see, we are able to navigate to all the tabs um, and then to these options. And within Salesforce, we have an option of sending uh, the email. So that is the step currently it's running. And you are able to see in the background, it's um, are running the uh, chat step. You are able to see the run chat step over here. Right. And in the end, um, we will log out from the Salesforce. And th this is the short uh, uh, demo on um, how Test IM is uh, working with uh, Salesforce. Uh, but apart from this, I understand uh, uh, Tricentis is having uh, a test automation for Salesforce in which very similar to the shad steps you will get a lot of predefined uh, uh, steps that you can use it for uh, uh, salesforce um, uh, automation so that that makes automating salesforce uh, in a much easier way and it could be a very fast activity on that right so this is about the demo on the salesforce with um, uh, test im so to explain about this uh, uh, test, so in this, at the first step, I am uh, logging into the Salesforce. You are able to see the URL and the test name. This, which which you see as a folder, is an, uh, a shared step. So you can create a folder up here, and then you can add uh, each and every steps, say like for the login of the application and kind of stuff. And this is what the create opportunity uh, step which I uh, just navigated uh, which which you saw the execution and say like uh, for an example if I can just show you this entering the uh, uh, testing opportunity in a text box um, so you'll be able to view the screenshot um, and then you can just make it a baseline of uh, the stuff also um, and then when you go back uh, so that screenshots also are getting captured with a baseline image and then the additional image and uh, this is for uh, uh, the properties so when i click on this you are able to see this is working on the opportunity and uh, name um, and uh, uh, that is the uh, text box uh, and here the text which i'm entering is shown up here um, then um, you also have the screenshot of the target element uh, you can highlight and see or you want to re reassign you can reassign and you want to improve uh, the uh, object identifications you can do improve on this here uh, we have view locators so you can see what are the locators it's using it's very effective and efficient um, so it goes on uh, the target element and its relative uh, the parent uh, elements you are you will be able to see all those options here uh, so it's very accurate and here we are setting up element must be visible as a condition as how we do a, a validation for an element visibility and then we do the operation so that is there here we have uh, what is to be done when the test step fails and uh, when we need to run the step right and here uh, you can see um, either uh, if there is an element that we need to do or we need to customize these are a bit advanced um, uh, so those kind of options i will see in maybe in the next sessions and you can have a time out kind of activities and there are uh, a number of activities up over here uh, and when i click the custom you are able to see we can write a code up here uh, with uh, uh, javascript and also for uh, Salesforce, uh, I understand you can write the Apex coding also in this and then you'll be able to do this activity. Um, so this is the uh, test which I have uh, created for the demonstration. Uh, for now, um, as I was mentioning on the slide, uh, I'll show you uh, how to 
create a test for a very simple application, the Mercury code for your understanding. Um, so I'm going to go to my um, project, right? Here you have the project and in this you can do a code repository, code merge, creating a branch and those kind of stuff also. So now I'm going to create a new test, right? Um, so this is the new test um, which is there and it's still under, still it is not a given the name. And you see this uh, login.salesforce which I have set on the um, the prerequisite of the, the project as the base URL. Uh, so for now, uh, I'm going to make um, an execution on the Mercury Tours application. So I just go to the link. I just take this link up here. Uh, and then I'm going to modify this. So when you select this, you are able to see the base URL. So I'm updating the base URL. right? And here I'm going to say test creation with test IM. Okay, and I have a save button here, so I just save this. And uh, this option which you're getting is to um, handle uh, what is the changes that you have made and you want to make a, a note, you can make a note it up here. So it's like versioning and then you can check out. Of it. So I've just uh, uh, set up the URL which is to be run and now I'm going to record the test. So when I hit record, it is launching the browser. So I'll just uh, enter the username for this and then the password for this stuff and click on the submit button. So it is uh, logged in successfully. Right now I'm going to click on this flights link right and say I'm going to click on one one trip and say for uh, uh, two passengers and say like just a, a drop down selection and then the radio button selection you can do that and then uh, if the step is already recorded you will get this step is already recorded a kind of stuff and whatever is in the chat step that is going to show you up here um, you can acknowledge it or you can ignore that and then you can continue from there so now i continue this and then say i'm going to um, click on the um, logout and say i've just come out of this application then here is the recorder which is happening here so i'm just going to stop it's going to show the total number of steps that it is recorded right and here if you see all the steps whatever we recorded we have it here and for each and every element you see the uh, description the properties and all the settings what we discussed um, before so all these options are up here right so it's very simple to record now i'm just going to click on the run um, so before that i'll just click on the save right and say like created the test run okay and now i'm just going to run this right and also you can have a breakpoint you can have conditions um, um, you can uh, debug the test all these options are available so whatever the test that we have recorded is um, running and then uh, whatever the activities on the Chrome that we did, it's all um, coming up there. Right? And and once, um, uh, until you see this uh, STIM editor starting the debugging the browser, it is going to uh, run those uh, steps. And when you go to STIM, it will show what is the uh, step that it is uh, running. And then you will be able to see all this option. So if you see this running all the steps one after the other, right? So I have given um, even if the uh, test the step fails, you need to continue the running. So just continue the running, right? So here I can uh, pause the uh, execution. I can uh, stop the 
so it is executing so i can pause the execution um, or i can stop the execution also here so you have uh, all those op options up here right so so this is about the uh, demonstration of um, how to create a small test with um, test IM and finally I'm going to show about uh, the Tricenters Academy and how you are how you can get the uh, test IM specialist uh, certification right so into my Chrome so this is the Tricenters Academy link you can uh, register up here um, and then you can learn um, about all the Tricenters uh, products so under this product based uh, learning um, you have uh, test IM up here and in which uh, you have three courses and when you do test IM specialist uh, you'll be able to get the certification up here uh, you have 21 courses and then in the end uh, you have the uh, certificate that you will get uh, if you pass the final exam so and this is about how to start with uh, 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 test IM and then um, how to automate with uh, test IM and what are the materials that you need to have to learn uh, the test IM and get uh, certified um, um, I'll just I'll just try to give all the uh, links in the description of the YouTube video. Um, thanks everyone for watching.